Hello, I'm Ashmita Priyadarshini Khatibada from Nepal and I would like to brief you on our article entitled Overview, Challenges and Future Prospects of Drug Information Services in Nepal, a Reflective Commentary. The trend of drug information services in Nepal last since 1994 with the establishment of Drug Information Center or DIC at Trivuan University Teaching Hospital in Kathmandu. Since then, uh, DI, DI services were introduced throughout the country in different institutions. However, not all DICs have been operating smoothly. So, the aim of this article was to highlight the recent scenario of drug information centers in Nepal, the challenges and the future prospects. For this, the information on the current status of DIC in the country was garnered by approaching authorized personnel of each established drug information center through telephone or uh, in-person meetings by our team members. While doing so, we found that among the established drug information centers so far, four of them are not functional by now, but few other institutions have DIC in planning phase. Nevertheless, the services being provided by the functional drug information centers were also not up to mark and lack proper documentation. It's a known fact that DICs plays an important role in attaining drug safety. In a developing country like Nepal, access to updated and unbiased information is difficult and still a major limitation. Uh, this highlights the need of effectively functional drug information centers in Nepal. The challenges that DICs here faces includes, but not limited to, lack of competent manpower dedicated to work in drug information centers, lack of dedicated workspace with all the required facilities, uh, paid access to the good journals which are way too expensive for a country like Nepal, fin uh, sparse financial support in institutions or be it in government level to run the drug information centers effectively, the availability of drug information in various drug-related online sites and different medical apps have made it easier to assess the information in country like Nepal. However, the validity and reliability of such information should be considered before dissemination. Incorporating drug information centers in the syllabus of undergraduates and postgraduates of pharmacy and highlighting its importance practically as well is an important approach. If drug information centers is to be operated adherent to a well-formulated SOP and if cyclic evaluation of the performance of drug information centers are to be done, then the quality of the services can be promoted. Also, this will aid in ensuring the sustainability of existing drug information centers as well. Designing suitable uh, indicators uh, and assessing the performance of the center against these indicators will give an idea of the services being provided by the centers. All these approaches may help to strengthen the drug information services being provided by the drug information centers in the country to a certain level.